In this video I'll be making a reconstruction of a Viking chain in cooperation with my friend Jeff. I'm Oliver Christensen. And I'm Jeff, the veg old guy. Welcome to Shaping Silver. I've been wanting to make some Viking jewelry for a long time, and I did consider modeling the animals in wax and casting them myself, but I'm not much of a caster. So I thought, why not ask a fellow YouTuber to do it? And I've been following this veg oil guy for a while, mostly because he makes his own casting equipment. So I wrote him and persuaded him to give it a try, and I packed a box of pewter, silver, a few tools and a pint of beer and hoped for the best. We have since become good friends, and just look at the amazing little creatures that Jeff sent me. They haven't blinked once since I received them, but I'm thinking it must be the coffee. He made them in the time-honored Viking way of cat modeling and vacuum casting. Anyway, go and check out how these amazing little creatures came into being on this channel. The chain ends are animal heads in the yelling style, which will place them in the time period about 900 to 975 AD. If you want to know more about the Viking styles, you should get Jonas Markusson's book, The Anatomy of Viking Art. Or download the free PDF from his homepage. I'll leave a link in the description. For those of you who haven't studied under this old tourney, the process is as follows. Roll down the rod to about half thickness, anneal. And roll down again until you reach a point where the thickness is just a little above the final dimension. Here, 0.8 millimeters. And then draw to a draw plate. With that out of the way, it's time to coil up and make about 200 rings.
When shaping the links, make sure that the solder seam is in the middle to avoid stressing it. 